Hey bestie, is it your favorite? YouTuber Kyle created an all-round social media sensation with the Barbara Oh, wow. No, no, no. As you probably already know, I am a student again. And by again, I mean that I did the high certificate in film, television, and entertainment production at AFTA in 2019 and graduated with this bad boy in 2020, just before the hashtag pandemic. And ever since then, I've been working in the social media industry and over the last two or three years, I've picked up quite a bit of skills that I will now be applying to my social media platforms in order to really begin my quest to stardom, fame and fortune. <laughs> Fun fact about me, I actually filmed and posted my very first YouTube channel in the same year that I did this I certificate program. And that video is still up if you want to check that out. Hey, my name is Ethan. Really? No one asked. I finally have a YouTube channel. Please subscribe. It's so amazing, and I would play it again and again and again and again. Anywho, it's been quite a hot minute since I uploaded a vlog, so for today I thought that um, I'd take you along with me to my first week at AFTER. But before we dive in, make sure that you click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and comment down below the clapperboard emoji for a shout out in next week's video. <laughs> What's up, sexy? Don't be alarmed, it's me, Ethan, but just in narrator form. Just to give you some context, our student body put together a film competition for our first week of orientation, where we got into crews to create a short film. But plot twist, to determine the plot of our scene, we had to randomly select a number which corresponded with the topic, and our topic was as follows. So to start off the scavenger hunt, we got to choose our own route, so we went with route number 7 and the first clue was let's make some noise for post-production. This was the easiest one because we simply made our way to the post-production building. Okay, so we are on a scavenger hunt and we have to go to noise, noise. Did we just shout? No, that's locked. <laughs> yes! We found it! Hi! How are you? So we found the venue and our first task was to decode this Morse code sound. Yeah, so we don't speak Morse code and even after googling copious amounts of times how to decode Morse code, we just could not figure out what to do. So we kind of just listened to the other team's answer, submitted that as our answer, and moved on. 
the next clue says let's go shopping here is the list and then they list a bunch of foods and in our minds we were like it has to be the after canteen and once we got there we realized that they don't even sell any of these things which was peculiar so i took a closer look at the clue and noticed that all of the foods start with a capital letter and last time i checked that is grammatically incorrect unless it has a hidden meaning which would lead us to our next clue and huzzah i was correct So as soon as we got to the venue, we had to take a selfie with the AFTER logo in it. And as you can see, we accomplished that. Uh, also, this is Ethan and this is Stefan, my team. Um, yeah, just thought I'd let you know who they are. Um, yeah, next clue. Our next clue said, on Jump Street Backwards. And to be honest, I still don't understand what this clue meant, but Stefan kind of figured it out, but I didn't ask any questions, and we just kind of went with it. Basically, what we had to do was create a dance with three counts of it. Due to unforeseen circumstances, we actually lost the footage of our dance that we put together, but this is more or less what our dance looked like. Our next clue was, let's have fun, get it done, go inside the place called, and the only other venue that like rhymed in that scenario is LT1. So we went there and we had to search for a film icon. And this is the biggest venue on the campus. So we were looking at other groups were coming in and leaving because they found it. We just could not find it, but we kept looking and looking and eventually we found it. Next, we had to unscramble these words, and when I tell you, my team member Ethan, he looked at this gibberish, he did some code calculation in his mind, and he was like, costume design and styling. <laughs> okay, so basically what you guys have to do is you really have to recreate this makeup look on one of yourselves. With this face paint, the blue is not working though, so... Oh, okay, we can substitute it with yeah. a different color. Okay, you? No. <laughs> Hard pass. Fine, okay. <laughs> Is that to the given? Yep, that's good. Okay, cool. The next clue that was given to us said, time to go to your next location. Very exciting. And I found it excruciatingly suspicious that the T and the V was in bold, which means that we had to head over to the TV studio. When we got there, we had to look through the room for letters plastered around the room, add all the letters together and create a word. Because I kind of forgot what the word was, but Ethan figured it out, so we're moving on. Our next clue said yay or nay, and what animal nays? A horse. And where do horses stay? A stable, which was our next venue, where we had to find that smiley frowny face thing. And we found it like instantly, so we could move on. Go hang out with Beth Harmon was our next clue, and after googling who she was, we found out that she's that girl from that Netflix chess movie, so we headed over to our chess board on campus, and basically what we had to do was arrange the chess board pieces in the correct order. Hey there, so uh, my hair is a mess because I'm editing in the early hours of the morning, but it's okay. Um, if you're still watching, let me know, do you know how to play chess? um because i don't know how to play chess i just know where the pieces need to be and how they move but i don't know like how to calculate like 10 steps said okay in 10 moves this person's gonna do this or like i can't do that so comment down below do you know how to play chess let me know right now like why is why are you looking at me go down to the cop like you're literally staring at me you're not commenting like do it do you think i'm playing games i'm being serious comment do you know how to play chess or not? Goodness. Thank you. Okay, so we're almost done. So our next clue was a walk in the park. So we went to the parking lot and we had to take a selfie with a red car, which we did. Um, we also had to do this fishing thing. Um, and I don't feel like m making a whole edit thing for that because I've been editing for like days. So yeah, 
position did we get? Five, so I think fourth now or fifth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Cool, cool, cool. It was great playing with you guys. Hands in. Team fifth place. Oh, and let's go. Three, two, one. Team fifth place. Hey guys, so today at campus we have to dress up as like a character from a movie. So I win, men in black is a given, is a given. What's up, sexy? Well, hello there, handsome. <laughs> you want to come over later? Maybe right now. So that's a yes, then. <laughs> Duh, dummy. Can I bring some Evo ice cream? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Interesting. This is great. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> 